Fine, so let us solve this question. A circular coil of 16 turns and radius 10 centimeter carrying a current of 0.75 amperes rests with its plane normal to external field of magnitude so much. Plane is normal to that. Okay, the plane is like this. The coil is free to turn about an axis in its plane perpendicular to the field direction. When the coil is turned slightly and released, it oscillates about its stable equilibrium with a frequency of 2 per second. Find the moment of inertia of the coil about its axis of rotation. Right. So, what do we do in this? Let me go back to the original equation from which we had calculated. We say that a moment of inertia I of a coil is placed in a magnetic field and, and so, so, so I into theta double dot is equal to, is equal to minus tau, right? Why minus tau? Why minus tau? Because? Because the tau is in such a direction as to always reduce that theta. Hmm. The concept is of uh, chapter 7th and 11th, right? Rotational motion. Hmm. So, I will be starting that class very shortly, maybe after class or 2 in 11th. So, you people just keep track. Now, this is equal to, th this was m cross b, so that is actually equal to minus m b sin theta and that becomes minus m b theta <coughs> if theta is small, okay. Now, theta double dot, that is why it becomes minus m b upon i into theta and, and whenever you have got, whenever you get any, any quantity whose double derivative is directly proportional to the quantity itself and, and there is a negative sign, then this is said to be an SHM. And in an SHM, this, this is nothing but, but omega square, okay. So, omega square is equal to m b upon i and what is omega square? No, you leave this. It, it becomes an SHM only when this happens, okay? Minus is also minus is, minus is, minus is outside. So, minus will not come with omega. You think otherwise, uh, omega square is a positive quantity, it, uh, even otherwise cannot be negative. Otherwise, it will have to be imaginary. So, and, and omega is what? Omega is the, is the angular frequency, okay? That is equal to 2 pi f, okay? So, this is actually 2 pi f. So, it is actually 2 pi f whole square is equal to m b upon i. What b q upon m? Hmm? Hmm? Omega is b q upon m. Omega is? B Q upon M, B into Q, B Q, why? B Q means, huh? Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is when a charge is shot into the, into a magnetic field. This is not, uh, uh, that is a different case. This is a different case. This is a coil that is rotating, right? So, so, so my I becomes equal to, so I, I becomes equal to M B upon 4 pi square F square, F square, right? F square, 4 pi square F square. Okay, now what happens, this is, uh, uh, I have a 
coil of 16 turns, radius 10 centimeter, carrying a current. So first of all, find out M. M is equal to N I A. That is equal to how many turns? 16 turns. What is the current? 0.75. So and into pi into 0.1 whole square. <coughs> is it not? Okay. So so what is that equal to? What is that equal to? Hmm? Hmm? Calculators? What is that equal to? Oh, this is 16 into 0.75 is 9. 9 into 0.1 square is 0 0.09 and into 3.14. So, so let me do that. 9 into 3.14 into 0 0.01. Point zero one, so that becomes somewhere point two eight two four, right? Fine. So that is my M. So point two eight two four into what is my magnetic field? Five into ten to the power minus two divided by four. So into 3.14 whole square into 2 square. <laughs> That's why you should not unnecessarily be uh, computing, right? You compute only in the end. This I keep on telling my students who, who are in two surface areas and volumes. So that pi would have easily gone away. And this unnecessary multiplication now has to be followed by a division. That's another unnecessary type thing that I'll be doing. So, so this is equal to, what is this equal to? Mm. Anyone has a calculator? No? Phone that acts as a calculator? So, so this is, these are easy, 4 into 4, 16 and, mm. so this should give me, I will be so point two eight two four point two eight two four point two eight two four into point zero five is equal to this divided by four divided by three point one four divided by 3.14 divided by 4 it becomes 8.95 into 10 to the power minus 5 8.95 into 10 to the power minus 5 kg meter square what's the answer by the way Hmm? It's not this. Huh? Is it? Hold on, hold on. Let me get a calculator. Fine, so, so let, me, let me do it from here onwards. So that is 16 into 0.75 into, into pi into 0 0.01. This is equal to, no, this is 0 0.37699. I don't know what mistake I've done. Oh, oh, this is 12 actually. This is not 9. This is 12. 
this is 12. So, ultimately it comes out to be this ok and so this actually yeah 0 0.376 hmm, fine 0 0.3769 and here also it is 0 0.3769 0 0.3769 so now I should get into 0 0.05 divided by divided by 4 into pi square into 4 that gives me 1.19 into 10 to the power minus 4 1.19 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg meter square what is the answer 1.2 fine fine so so okay we understand okay